So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a beautiful town called Mirik in West Bengal. Mirik is around 50 kilometers from Darjeeling and Siliguri. We are currently at this beautiful tourist spot called the Mirik Lake. On one side of the Mirik Lake are the beautiful pine trees which look absolutely magnificent. Almost appears like you are somewhere in Switzerland. Let's look at these beautiful pine trees along with their needles arranged in the Fibonacci series. That's what I heard. And on the other side of the lake is this beautiful Savitri Pushp Udyan, which looks magnificent. Lots of people out here. It's very misty and cloudy and a little bit drizzling. It's very romantic. Beautiful shops out there and restaurants where uh, if you get hungry, you can just have some refreshments. And connecting this beautiful Savitri Pushp Udyan and the pine trees on the other side is this nice arching pull called the Indrani pull. This Indrani pull looks fabulous with its reflection in the lake. Both Savitri Thapa and Indrani Thapa were child freedom fighters in the Indian National Army of Subhash Chandra Bose. And they were the human bombs which were used to blow up the British tanks. That's how they laid their lives for the country. And that is why this beautiful park is named after Savitri Thapa, the child martyr, as a Savitri Pushp Udyan. And this beautiful arching bridge connecting this Udyan to the pine trees on the other side as the Indrani pull after Indrani Thapa. So we are now at the quadrangle of the Mirik Lake, which is the center of hustle and bustle. Uh, you've got the lake on one side, you've got the pine trees on the other, you've got this Indrani bridge, and you've got this beautiful uh, Savitri Pushpudyan. Lots of activities out here. You can do some horse riding, uh, you can have refreshments, and you can dress up uh, in a traditional uh, attire of the mountains. I see some people are doing that over here and uh, it looks very nice. Look at this lady who's dressed up as uh, in the traditional attire over here. Nice blue and red dress and this gentleman out here uh, as well. So it looks very nice. She's crying because her dress got taken off. Oh my god, the poor girl. Now we are at the Indrini Bridge, at the middle of the Indrini Bridge. And on both sides there are lakes. Looks very beautiful in this misty atmosphere today. People are having a lot of fun. They've come from far flung places to watch these beautiful pine trees and the lakes and they're doing boating. And people do enjoy the boating as well in the lake which is called the Sumendu Lake at Mirik. These are the self-paddle boats, which people are enjoying clearly. So this is Shrija and Remjhem going for a horse ride. Say hi guys. And they arrive back safely at the home base. I'm sure they enjoy the ride. And now we are at the highest point of Mirik at a monastery called the Boker Monastery. That's how it looks like. In the backdrop of the monastery, you have these lovely woods and pine trees. And this is a really serene Buddhist monastery. And the Bokar monastery is adorned with classical Tibetan architecture, which looks wonderful amongst the misty atmosphere formed by the clouds because we are at the highest point of Mirik which is around 1700 meters above the sea level. The monastery looks very serene, very peaceful and very divine. There are prayers going on inside the campus. Let's see if you can go inside and catch a glimpse of those prayers. Oh,